Okay, so now we're going to walk through Ogle Pro, which is the new uh, exclusive app to the Lumia 1020 from Hipstamatic. So as you can see, the basic sort of uh, value proposition here with Ogle Pro is taking, capturing quick videos using these great filters and then sharing out. Uh, you can share to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, but there's some really cool features here in the UI that I'm going to point out that uh, Ogle used, uh, they built using our imaging SDK. So there's a couple of things here. You can see the little uh, gyroscope leveler there, so you can actually level out your photos, take like funky angles and stuff like that. You also got a, a focus uh, tool where you just tap where you want to focus and it locks the focus on that area. And you can move that around, you can change the focus, you can go back to this guy, wherever you want to put it. The other tool that they use with the SDK is if you slide this out, you've got all your manual controls, just like you do in the native camera for the 1020 and Camera Pro. So you can set those, you can mess around with those as well. Um, you've also got some default filters. So what you do is when you tap on one of these five, you can see a brief preview as it sets. So that's what this one looks like. And then if you tap to the next one, you'll see it flash on there. That's your preview. Same thing with this one with the nightlife. So there's a couple of presets. So I'll use the nightlife. And you'll see when I do that, let me refocus on the, uh, on the flowers here. I'll take a quick shot. So I took that shot. And then I'll go to my little frame here, which is uh, all of my photos and you'll see it pop in there. So you now see the filter and so forth. The other cool thing with uh, Aqua Pro is if you look down here, you've got something called gear. Um, if you check out that gear uh, tab there, you've got now a combination of filters you can apply and they're in two categories. You got on the left-hand side, you've got these lenses. Um, so for example, you can apply different lens filters, basically emulators. And then on the right-hand side, you've got films. So on the right-hand side, you can grab one, you can slide it up, there we go. And the combination, you can do sort of mix and match with all different combinations, gotcha. and it changes the filter. So once you're happy with what you've got, you just click save, and you can do that and re-edit it you know, on the fly, and you can see that the image actually changes uh, in real time. And then you can share out, uh, as you say, you got Facebook, you got Instagram, and you got Twitter here. You can give a description, and it tells you the, the names of the filters that were used. And so the Instagram sharing works by you uh, put your login information within the app itself, and then um, you actually have to have an Instagram account yeah. Yeah. already. But then once you have that, you can add that information, yeah, and you can share out to Instagram. Very cool. So uh, yeah, it's it's a really cool app. I love the way that they've used the um, the uh, camera, the imaging SDK, yeah. and the use of that and the filters. So it's a really nice nice touch to the app. Great. Thank you very much. My pleasure.